Welcome to CATS Tutorials and in this video we're going to be covering practice problem 1.7. The question says compute the power absorbed or supplied by each component in the circuit. Now you can start wherever you like but let's just follow the numbering on the circuit. So we'll start with P1. So P1 seems to be a component let's say maybe a resistor and to compute power we use these formulas here power is equals to voltage times current or P is equals to I squared times R in this case we have voltage across the element and current given to us so the best thing to do or the easiest thing to do would be to use the first formula which says, simply says P is equals to VI. So let's do that quickly. So P1 is equals to VI, which is equals to the voltage is given as five and the current which passes through this element is nine. Now, if you look here, this current starts off from the negative side of the voltage. So it passes through the negative terminal of the voltage first, which means we introduce a negative sign there. And now our answer will be negative 45 watts. And that is the um, that is the power which is associated with this particular element. Moving on to P two. P two. Now let's look at P two. We have the voltage source. We have its value, which is two volts. And we also have the same current, which is going through P1, which is nine. In this case, the current encounters the positive side first. So no negative signs will be introduced when calculating P2. So now P2 is equals to VI, which is equals to two and the same current of nine amperes. So our answer will be 18 watts. Moving on to P3. P3 is another is another voltage source. But this one is um, it's current dependent. It's a current dependent voltage source. So its value is 0.6i and i is given up here as 5 amps. So to find the value of V, so let's say, let's call it V3. You say 0.6i and i is given as 5, 0.6 multiplied by i to find the value of the voltage source. i, which is given to us as 5. So multiply by five, that should give you three. So this is three volts. So the value of this voltage source is three volts. Now coming to the question or answering the question, you want to find P3. So we're gonna say P3 is equal to VI. So V is this value which we just calculated here. Or you could just simply plug in everything at once by saying 0 0.6, the value of I, which is five, and I again, I which passes through P3 is four, and it passes through the positive first. So we keep it like that and say four, and this should give you 12 watts. Or you could use this formula directly and say, this value which we calculated, which is three, and the value of the current which passes through, which is four, 
which will give you 12. This is basically the same thing. I was just breaking the problem up into finding the voltage first and then plugging it in. But you can do this like at once, all at once. This part represents V, which is the value of the voltage. And this represents I in this formula. Moving on to P4. P4. Now P4 is over here. The current going through P4 is 5, given as I. It's 5. And the voltage across it is 3 volts. And the current goes through the positive first, so I leave it like that. So just plug it in again. VI equals to the voltage given to us as 3. And the current given to us is 5, which should be... 15 watts. And that is how you answer this question.